Our next caller is Chris from Minnesota. What's up, Chris? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Love the show. Love the YouTube stuff. Glad to be on. Thanks. No problem. Listen, yeah. in the winter and fall, I pretty much just strength train. Um, and my cardio is just walking. Uh, I go back and forth between like upper lower split and, you know, three days a week full body. But I live in Minnesota. And so the summertime, I like to get out and ride my bike, um, run. But I still love strength training. So I'm just wondering how you might program a couple days a week for me to still maintain kind of the strength that uh, I built over the, the winter time here, but still do the stuff I like to do, which is ride my bike with my friends and trail run and stuff. Tell him, Sal. Yeah, no. Tell uh, him, Sal. It, it, yeah. <laughs> He's not going to like it. You can't. No. <laughs> yeah, I, so, okay. So, so to be fair, building strength is harder than maintaining strength. However, um, what you're asking is you're asking your body to do a lot of different things. Some of them are competing. So you're saying, okay, I want lots of endurance, but I also want to keep all the strength that I gained when I wasn't training for uh, endurance. And that's just, it's just not going to happen. Are you going to lose some strength? Yeah. Now there's things you can do to minimize the strength loss. Keep a diet that's high in protein, train appropriately. I would focus on compound lifts, reduce the resistance training because you're doing more running and biking so that you don't overtrain. But the reality is when you're training for lots of different things, you're going to get a little bit of all of them, but you're not going to get a lot of any one specific. So you know, if, if someone's a power lifter and then they want to go and, you know, learn how to r long distance run, they're going to lose some strength in the power lift, but they're going to get some endurance with the running. By the way, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, you know, the way you're working out and training your body sounds pretty awesome. It sounds like you cycle through different types of training. You're getting more endurance. Sometimes other times you're getting more strength. That's a very, that's an awesome long-term approach. I think it sounds great. That it sounds like you're doing something you enjoy. Um, so I, I wouldn't worry too much about some of the strength that you lose. By the way, you know, uh, strength comes back very quick. You know, muscle is one of those things, very mm -hmm. resilient. If you gain muscle the first time and then you lose it, gaining it back the second time is is a piece of cake. Muscle memory is a, is a real thing. But to keep the strength that you had before while also simultaneously now trying to dramatically increase your endurance – it's not going to happen. Well, you just got to lean on that fact that it's going to come back and, and, and shifting your mindset towards it. So this is a phase where, you know, you're focusing all your efforts more on the endurance. You enjoy it. Uh, and, and really, like, it's it's about just shifting your mindset towards it, knowing full well that when you come back to, to lifting weights, uh, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time to kind of regain that that strength that you had back, but then you can build upon that. But yeah, it's going to take a, a little bit away from, uh, you know, that, that specific adaptation. I, I want to go a little bit further on what Sal alluded to, that there are ways to, to minimize, though, how much muscle or strength that you potentially lose while training endurance, right? So I, I would strength train at least once or twice a week. And then whenever I'm doing any of my endurance stuff, stay fed get like get like these they have these little cool like uh this was a big thing for me this helped me out a, a lot when i was playing basketball as a young kid trying to build muscle this was something that i, I was trying to figure out i love playing during season time and when, when the league was going i would lose all the muscle and then i'd go the other way and i kept going around and around in this circle i found what was going on was when i play basketball I, I loved the game so much that i would get to playing for two three hours straight and be unfed and that only accelerated the, the muscle loss, right? And the body adapting to not needing any more of this muscle. So one of the things you can do to help minimize that, aside from just incorporating one or two days a week of strength training, is making sure that you're staying fed while you are doing any of your endurance sports. And if it's going on for an hour or beyond that, this is where you really want to make sure you have like those go packets or like little sticks of honey that you can you can take down while you're doing it. This will help uh, minimize how much you or lose. Some French fries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well I, didn't, I didn't say it, but the truth was, I was back then. I was doing rock stars. That's what I was doing. I was doing 350 calories of rock stars was what helped help mitigate that. Yeah. So not yeah. not ideal and healthy. I would recommend uh, honey instead. Yeah. No, I don't mind losing some strength. It's just I always find that when I – it's it's almost like a little bit of a break for me. You know, the, um, I live in a place where it's cold. You can't do stuff outside. I, I love, you know, running. I kind of do my own programming in the fall and winter and go back and forth between up or lower and five by five and stuff like that. I just don't want it to all completely go away in the summer. When I come back in the fall, I just – I come back with sort of a new, you know – 
um, renewed interest and in going back to getting strong, right? So it's just I just don't want it all to go away. I, I, I appreciate the way you train. To be I think it's with great. You. Yeah, I, I think it's a very well balanced, uh, well rounded approach. I think that's great. It probably is healthier to do it that way, where you're kind of moving in and out of different goals and adaptations. So keep doing it, like, no, no matter what. Training appropriately, not overdoing it, not underdoing it, is going to give you better results, no matter what. So. I would say be you know be mindful of that right so don't think oh I'm gonna do as much weight training as I did before and throw all this endurance stuff on that way I can maintain my strength it might be too much it might actually make things worse stay fed Chris sure. stay fed well that's not a problem for me in the summertime so good. don't worry about that good. Right. be good yeah. they don't even know <laughs> oh, they don't even know. Oh, watch, watch out, out man. thanks for calling man yes thanks guys no thank problem. you Chris. It's like I remember talking to. Uh, they don't even know. Uh, they, they, don't. they don't even know. <laughs> They're starting to know though. People are figuring <laughs> I mean, it out. No, they ain't Some ready. Some people know. They, they now, ain't ready. Now they ain't ready. <laughs> yeah. I my, I remember years ago, my brother. You know, he was. I was talking to him about uh, like money and investing and stuff like that. And he goes, "Man, he goes, listen. Here's a deal. Like, I definitely want to be wealthy and invest my money, but I love." Like spending money and enjoying myself and going on vacation. <laughs> yeah. like, what do I do? I'm like, pick one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do both. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, way. you can, but you're you just can. you're not going to be the wealthiest guy, yeah. right? And you're not going to have the most fun. You're, you're doing a little the, of there's each. no hack in there. That's the thing. Yeah, it's yeah. just like it's it's you know you're just gonna that's what you like to do. So just keep doing it. But I do want to point out what Sal said. I mean, I love what this guy's doing. I mean, I think this is like that's. It sounds maybe, like he's enjoying himself. right. This may be one of the most more healthy relationships with exercise. Right, it's that super balanced. That, yeah, that we've got as far as a question. I mean, I he I heard him say five by five type of training. Uh -huh. He's got endurance type stuff. And yeah, that's great. No, I think what he's doing is is incredible. And you do you just you know it gets in your head a little bit that you you lose it's because you get married to a look or a f type of physical <clears throat> performance. But I do. I will tell you that was a. That was a major, I know I was about to say game changer there. It was a major panty, panty dropper, dropper thank you. Justin, yeah, that for I when that. I switched over on, to actually <laughs> drinking a, I, so I did, and I know this is terrible, right? So I'm telling the audience that this is a long Are time we, ago. We better get sponsored by them by this point. Yeah, well. How often do you bring them up? It was the amount of calories that I was consuming because I would, I'd play basketball for two, three hours, sometimes yeah. longer because I love the game and. You know, when you get I was, lost in it. Yeah, you get lost yeah. in it, and nothing, nothing will will speed up the adaptation of losing, you know, and, and paring down muscle than not being fed and doing long endurance yeah. like that. So you can mitigate the amount of muscle you lose by making sure that when you do these long bouts of cardio, that you're staying fed every hour. It's funny, I totally get this mentality too. Like when I was living in the Midwest in Chicago, you, you just get these brutal winters, and you know, you're you're huddled in, you're doing strength training, you're kind of grinding your way through, but when the the sun is out everybody's like there's sun you have to yeah. get outside and you gotta you know enjoy that right. when it's there sun's out buns out that's it